Welcome to the Elementor Pro. I'm Jared, and today we are going to look at how to use WP Forms with Elementor. So, WP Forms is a fantastic form builder. They have a free version, they have a paid version with tons of options. Uh, I have the free version installed here that gives me the ability to use the standard fields and create standard forms. Fancy fields, payment fields, and all that stuff require a paid subscription to WP Forms, uh, but we're just looking at how to create a form and how to put that in Elementor. So one of the nice things that I do love about WP Forms is that when you go to build a new form, they have lots of pre-designed uh, forms. So when I click on Add New, there's lots of form options. It's pretty cool. And I could choose from many of these and then they've got pro forms and there's lots of integrations and marketing options. So WP Forms is, is pretty, pretty fantastic. So we have our form created and that's all that we need to do. I'm assuming that you've probably used WP Forms or you've been thinking about using it. All we have to do is create our form and then go into the Elementor page that we want to embed the form in. So with uh, WP Forms, uh, we just need to have our page. So I've got this contact form page that I started right here and it has a place for me to insert a form. So there's a couple different ways that you can insert WP Forms. So if I just do a search over here for WP Forms, you can see that I have a few options. I have a WordPress embed option, which is uh, free. You don't need Pro or anything like that. You don't need Elementor Pro to use that. So I can drag this one in. So we'll drag it into the space and then it's going to ask me to select the form. So I'll select my form and I fill in my form and I don't need to add a title to it because I already have the title and whatnot up here. So that really is all that I need to do. But you'll notice that there isn't really any customization here. I can add a custom title. I could choose to display the form name if I want, the form description if I want as well, if I had one, and then that is it. I can come into the advanced and yeah, there's I can add padding and margin or whatnot, but that really is about all that I can do with this particular element. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one because we're gonna look at all three of these. So we'll go down to this other one here first, WP Forms, and we'll drag that one into place and see what we have here. So now I'll go and choose Contact Us as the form, and you can see that it's pretty much the same. This is the element that comes with WP Forms. So because we have WP Forms installed, it has its own element as well. So now we've looked at the one that WordPress provides. We also have looked at the one that WP Forms provides. And you'll notice that this one doesn't have really any other options than the one that WordPress already had put in. You know, same thing, just content and advanced, that is it. So let's delete this one and let's look at the last option, which is an option because I have essential add-ons from Elementor installed. And so I'm gonna drag this one over and you can see I can select a form, contact. So I've got the contact form. Right now, nothing looks much different, but I can go and toggle all of these things off. I can even give it a custom title and description from here if I wanted, so I don't have to use the title that's being pulled in from the form itself. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off title. Uh, there's no description, so that doesn't matter. I could turn off the labels if I didn't want labels to be there, but keep in mind you would need to have placeholders, and that's something that you set up in WP Form. So if you were going to turn off labels, we would want to make sure that we have placeholders put in so that the, in the field it would say first name, last name, email, and so people would know what to do with those boxes. So we'd wanna make sure that that's turned on. We can also have it either show or hide error messages. You know, if something happens, they don't put in an email address that seems right, or uh, something happens with the form not being sent, we can show or hide those, uh, those error messages. Now, here's where the power of the essential add-ons element is in being able to customize this form and make it look better, change the fonts to things, change the background color if we wanted to, add margin to different things. Uh, so let's go and look at title and description. Well, we don't have a title and description, so let's just move on down to uh, labels. If we wanted to change the text color 
our labels to something different, we could do that. We could change the typography. We could make it a little more bold. We could increase the size or whatnot just to make things more noticeable. Um, we can come down to our text areas, which were pretty basic. Now they're just basic squares. We can add maybe a little bit of border radius to them to add a little bit of style. We can add, indent the text so we can see what this looks like. Um, maybe we want the text to indent out a little bit further. We can do that. We can change the width of the input areas uh, to a specific pixel size. Also the height and then for the text areas, the bigger areas, we can make those smaller or larger as well. Add padding, spacing, change the typography that shows up in here. So let's go ahead and do that just to see what that looks like. I can change this to maybe a different font. Um, and uh, now we've got a different font in there as well, which definitely is hard to read. But it's cool that we can change the font to something different um, and, and just make our forms look really custom. Uh, under field description, we can change the text color typography for that. Same with the placeholder. You know, the placeholders usually show up in here as like a lighter text, letting people know to click in there and then just type over it. And so we could change the color of that as well. Radios and checkboxes, adding custom style to those, that's awesome. Uh, the submit button, you know, we could change the color of the submit button as well to match whatever it is that we're trying to accomplish even uh, changing the way that that button looks, adding a border to it, adding a border radius to it so that it's a nice rounded pill style button instead, adding a shadow to it so that it pops off of the page a little bit is pretty neat. Um, and then of course being able to customize the display of the error messages instead. So the essential add-ons element gives us a ton of additional functionality when making our forms look a lot better and not just looking like stale forms. Essential add-ons is a paid add-on that you purchase separate from Elementor or Elementor Pro. I've got a link to it down in the description below. If you use that link to purchase essential add-ons for Elementor, it helps support the channel here. Uh, it's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just gives us a little bit of a percentage of that sale so that we can continue to do what we're doing. And so if you find value and being able to customize your WP forms and you decide to purchase the essential add-ons, I just would appreciate you using that link, but you don't have to. Uh, that's gonna do it for this video. We've used WP forms in Elementor in three different ways and now you know exactly what's possible and you can create amazing forms uh, and embed them in your Elementor pages. If you found this video interesting, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. If you would like to receive element tour tips and videos and stuff like this via email in the link below there is a subscribe link to subscribe to our newsletter i'd appreciate you signing up for that we also have an element tour course that helps you get started with element tour learn everything that there is to know to build pages in element tour build full websites and all that good stuff so make sure to check out that link if you're interested in an element tour course but that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for being here, and I hope to see you back soon in another video. Take care.